So this is our first example club question. When Henry goes to a restaurant, he has a choice of four appetizers, four main courses, and five desserts. How many three course dinners are possible? Okay, so this deals with the fundamental counting principle. So for each category, you know, we have four, six, and five items in each individual categories. All we need to do is multiply those numbers together. So four times six times five. That's going to give us 120. So there's 120 ways to design your three course dinner. So this one says the face of a fair cube are number one through six. The probability of rolling any number one through six is equally likely. If the cube is rolled twice, what's the probability that each time a number greater than four appears on the top face? Okay, so here you need to find out what's the probability of rolling a number greater than four. So we have one through six, numbers five and six are greater than four. So there's only two out of six that satisfy that criteria of being greater than four. And you can reduce that down to one third by dividing each by two. Now I'm doing two events, I'm rolling it and then rolling it again. And these are mutually exclusive because when I roll the first time, it doesn't affect any probability on the second roll. So if I'm doing two events, I multiply the probabilities together. So one third times one third, because each roll I have one out of three chance of getting that five or six. And just simply multiply the fractions together. The tops, one times one is one. And the bottom, three times three is nine. So my probability of getting a number greater than four twice is one over nine. So this one says the Spanish club has 12 members. A committee of three needs to be formed to represent the club. How many combinations of three people can be formed? Okay, so this you should be thinking either combination or permutation. So within the group, is there any kind of order to it? So they don't say any kind of you know, president or secretary or vice president. So there's no order within the group. So it's going to be a combination. So simply it's going to be, you have 12 to choose from. And you need to choose three of them for your group. So 12, type it in your calculator. Then go to PRB, choose a combination. When you go back to the main screen, type in three and then press enter. And that's going to give you a value of 220. And using the formula, that would be 12 factorial over 3 factorial times 12 minus 3 factorial. Again, that's going to reduce down to 12 factorial over 3 factorial times 9 factorial. And if you work that out, you'll end up getting the same 220. So this one says a deck of cards has four suits that have 13 cards in them labeled two through 10, Jack, Queen, King, and Ace. Two suits are red, the hearts and diamonds, and two black, spades and clubs. If a card is chosen at random, what is the probability it is a card numbered five through eight or is a spade? Okay, so when you hear the word or, you should think of the or formula. It's a probability of A or B. It's going to be the probability of A. There's a probability of B. There's a probability of A and B. All right, so what's the probability of choosing a card numbered five through eight? So five, six, seven, eight, so that's four cards. And there's four suits, so it's gonna be 16 cards of the 52. It's probably again the spade. That's a whole suit, so that's gonna be 13 out of 52. 
Now the probability of A and B. What's the probability that it's a spade numbered five through eight? So we said that's going to be four. It's four cards like that in each suit. So four out of 52. And we're doing that because we don't want to double count those same cards. So we end up subtracting those out. So if you add the numerator, 16 plus 13 minus 4, that's going to give you 25 over 52. And that's going to end up being in lowest terms. So our answer is 25 over 52. So this one says, in a group of adults, 40% of them own a home and 30% of them own more than one car. Home ownership is independent of owning a car. What is the probability that a randomly selected adult from this group owns a home and does not own more than one car? So we're doing two events here. So in this case, we're doing the multiplication rule and so the probability that they own a home and do not own more than one car. So this is going to be the probability of A and B. Simply multiply the probability of A times the probability of B. So the probability of owning a house is 40%, so 0 0.4. Now what's the probability of not owning more than one car? So if it's 30% that they own more than one car, the complement is going to be 1 minus 0.3, which gives you 0 0.7. So the probability of not owning more than one car is 0.7. So we've got 0 0.4 times 0 0.7. That's going to give us 0 0.28. So the probability is 0.28 or 28%. And this one says a class consists of 20 boys and 12 girls. A five person team must be formed with three boys and two girls. How many different teams can be formed? Now in this case, we need to set up two combinations. So each group, there's no order within them. So it's gonna be a combination and not a permutation. So two combinations one for the boys and one for the girls. So from the boys, we have 20 to choose from. And we need to choose three, so 20 NCR3. And for the girls, we have 12 to choose from. And we need to choose two. And if you use your calculator, the first one comes out to 1140. The second one, 66. But then at the end, you need to multiply these two together. That's going to give you 75,240. Okay, so this one's a little bit different than what you've seen. We've got two combinations. We basically need two groups. And we're going to mix those groups together to form, you know, a five-person team. So you need to find the combination of each group and then multiplying them together. So this one says a bag contains five apples and eight oranges. One piece of fruit is chosen at random and not replaced. A second piece of fruit is chosen at random. If the first fruit was an apple, what was the probability that the second was an orange? So with this problem, we're basically have the keyword given. So if the first was an apple, what was the probability that the second was an orange? So we're getting two pieces of fruit without replacement. If the first one was an apple, I still have eight oranges in the bag. But now I only have 12 pieces of fruit in there. Because on the first draw, I took out an apple, so that's gone. So there's only 12 left in the bag. And there's still eight oranges left in the bag, so it's going to be eight out of 12 probability. And again, I need to reduce this. I can divide each by four. It'll give me two over three. So that probability is 2 over 3, or 2 thirds. So this one says a jar contains marbles, 3 red, 5 blue, and 4 green. If two marbles are selected at random, one after each other, without replacement, what is the probability that the first one is red and the second is blue? 
Okay, so remember probability is favorable outcomes over total number of possible outcomes. So we want the first one's red, so there's three red and a total of 12. So the probability of choosing a red is three out of 12. Now I'll get my second event and to multiply that probability. Now it needs to be blue. So there's still five blue in there. I didn't remove any, but I did remove one marble on the first draw. So there's only 11 marbles to choose from. So it's going to be three over 12 times five over 11. You can just multiply numerators together. Three times five is 15. Multiply the denominators together. 12 times 11 is 132. And you want to put it in lowest terms. On your calculator, you can do 15 divided by 132 and then convert it to a fraction and it'll put it in lowest terms for you. But otherwise, you can divide by three on top and bottom. I'll give you five over 44. Okay, so this probability is equal to 5 over 44. So this one says a local high school drama club has 20 female members. There are three roles, the queen, the princess, and the queen's sister. And how many ways can the roles be cast? Okay, so again, we need to think either permutation or combination. Our group is going to be three, but there's three distinct roles within that group. So this is going to be a permutation. We got 20 to choose from. And we got three places to fill. So 20 NPR 3. If you put that in the calculator, it's going to give you 6,840. Okay, so remember this is a permutation because the order matters within the group.